Without advances in technology, we're not going to move forward. So technology is evaluating the, the genetic makeup of the stem cell. Is it normal? Is it not normal? The faster we can do that with, with, with high level of precision, the better we would know which stem cells are appropriate for use and which are not. Uh, technologies to take the cells we make and actually make a piece of tissue. So what we make, what we show people, are cells that are beating in a dish, floating freely. That's not really how a tissue forms, an organ forms. So new tissue engineering technologies, new scaffolding, new support for the cells, huge opportunities, n new, new ways to make a billion cells instead of a million. You know, that in itself takes technology. You can't just make more and more dishes. You at some point have to change the format. Absolutely essential. What I discovered was that the biggest gold mine in the world exists in everyone, right between their ears. And you say, how do you connect with those people? And if you look at the serendipity behind a lot of discoveries, it's of people looking at a problem from a different angle and maybe even a totally different background coming up with a solution. And the more we can encourage that type of conversation, the closer and the sooner we'll get to a discovery that breaks the boundaries. And that's what we're out to do. Break the boundaries down and move faster. People need a reliable source, a place they can go to know where is the research at now. And we're also uh, investing heavily in young talent. You know, there is a significant uh, uh, number of the scientific community that are nearing retirement age. And uh, they've been carrying uh, the ball you know, with stem cell research and there's got to be this transition to the, the new scientific leaders. So we have a very large um, uh, recruitment uh, uh, area that we are looking to bring young collaborators uh, into working with our scientists. Certainly what's going to happen in the next five years will be a, a number of clinical trials testing the effect of the cells, absolutely, and based on that I would think we're going to see some very positive effects in some instances. Certainly moving the way we are, you're going to see testing going on, clinical trials happening of many different tissues.